Hey guys, what's up? So, it's just showed up on Amazon, and I've actually been looking at one of these for a while. And it's a new multimeter. But the unique thing is that it's, the LCD is black and white. So, um, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I, I think it's going to be a lot easier to see, but I also noticed that it's push button. It doesn't actually have like one of these dial functions, like on the traditional, you know, meters here, but uh, it's only 40 bucks, and I mean, this might end up being that kind of nightmare with the buttons versus just the dial, but uh, I just like the, the black and white LCD, so um, it's made by uh, B-Side, and they call it a 99 count, so I don't know if that's just the name of this thing, or if it's a specific technical function that I'm not aware of, but uh, let's open this up, so pretty cool, it has a lot of features like, like these other, you know, but the, uh, you know, the temperature, voltage, obviously, okay, came with some alligator clips, temperature probe, okay, manual, user guide, it's kind of cool, I'm not sure, I might use this for my, uh, this is actually going to be for my desk and not my work bag, uh, for my work bag, I, I, I normally keep the fluke in there, but this one would normally go my work bag, but, uh, Okay, and this is my current desk uh, multimeter, and I've actually had this for 20 years. That's what my first digital multimeter I had, and it can test transistors and capacitors, and it still works, just nice. But I like the uh, what I found out is like when you're filming videos and you're trying to show somebody something, it's hard to read this thing. So I'm hoping this black and white one will be easier to read in videos. All right, stop testing voltage and current mode. Turn off for use. Uh, obviously, you need to have batteries. Okay. Let's see the Phillips goes in there. Okay. Get some batteries and it's going to come back. Yeah, it didn't come with batteries, so. It's kind of unusual, but. Turn on automatically. Wow, that's a nice looking screen. Yeah, way easier to read than the uh, this one right here. You can see them both. Oh, and the glare. All right. Get some probes on this thing. We'll start doing some tests. That's cool. Well, I'm not going to test this functionality, but this is actually a temperature probe. Yeah, this actually one originally came with it too, my original. I think I spent like about a hundred bucks on this, probably 20 years ago. Yeah, I bought it when I was learning electronics. Alright, um... Okay, these are alligator clip leads. So, got the wrong leads. Actually... Since we're on the subject of leads, I actually bought some other leads. And these are actually wire piercing leads. So I think I'm going to end up using these ones right here, put these on there. So these are the leads that came with it. But I actually wanted to use these, uh... In the future, I want to keep these on there because I'll be using this a lot, doing some testing. This, this is actually like a wire piercing so I can pierce wires and test uh, functionality without having to like uh, you know uh, take it apart. All right, let's get this going. Should be a, should be a standard lead. Okay, calm. Keep that there for now. But that's for uh, current test. All right. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, this part off. All right, let's do. Uh, so right now I'm in DC. I haven't read the manual yet, so I'm, I'm actually thinking. Typically, when I want test tools, I want them to be easy enough to figure out, but I don't have to go back to the manual and look at it. Uh, okay. Let's hook up to my uh, power. 
frequency range, 60 hertz. Okay, back in DC mode. Okay, yeah, I like it so far for 40 bucks. Um, let's do a... Yeah, this thing's actually easy enough to figure out where I can just hit the button to figure it out. So, let's do continuity. Um, okay, that's just resistance. Okay. Okay, that's your continuity. The, uh, and diode tester. It looks like you have five. Capacitive. Okay. Pass the functionality. It's a cool thing for 40 bucks. Alright. So if you saw this on Amazon and you're wondering what it looked like in real time, that's what it is. Yeah, awesome color. So very clear, easy to see. And, uh, not bad. All right. Turn off. All right.